Welcome to Use What You Got. My name is Zach, and today I'm gonna to show you how I made this light post stockings holder. This could be the perfect way to hang your stockings if you don't have a mantle. Let's get into it. I feel like this video is getting back to the roots of my channel. This 4x4 pole has been in my shed for quite a while, and it was just what I needed. Right off the bat, you can see though, that it's quite twisted. So my suggestion, if you were to ever make this, I would definitely buy a new pole. Just happens that I have it, I'm gonna use it. But you could definitely get the same one that's straight or you could get a more decorative one. But use what you got, am I right? After inspecting it, I noticed that there was something on it that reminded me of brake fluid. Really weird. Anyways, I grabbed my tape measure and knew that I needed the pole to be about six feet tall. This would accommodate for three stockings to be hung on each side. It's probably overkill, but I like to make sure that I have a solid line where I need to cut. Then I use my speed square as a guide for smaller boards. After marking all four sides, I attempted to cut it as flat as possible. It wasn't perfect, but it was close enough. This cut is a little more unique since I can't get my saw blade all the way through the 4x4. I went ahead and sanded the top off camera until it was flat. Then, this was the same sanding pad that I've used on several projects now. I utilized it like a rag and actually took this top layer of junk off the wood. Question for you. Do you enjoy watching someone sand or is it boring? Leave a comment down below, I'd love to hear your opinion. I also use the sander to soften the edges on each corner. This thing was in bad shape. But that looks so much better. With the new pad, I really took my time to try to get it as smooth as possible. I'm not sure how well you can see it on camera, but it looks so much better now. I had a bunch of these 12 by 12 boards laying around, so I figured I would use it as the base for this project. We'll get back to that in just a moment. But first I wanted to give it a good wipe down and make sure that there was no sawdust left on it before I started painting. This paint is actually the same paint that we used on our Chevron accent wall. Check out the video above or in the description, and it is such a nice paint to work with. It's called Limousine Black and it goes on so well. When I'm painting a project like this one, I try to make sure that the first coat is nice and thick, but I still watch out for the paint to drip or run. You definitely don't want that. Then I decided to paint this base piece, but I ended up not using it. Well, kind of. Again, I'll get back to that in a second. We're almost there. These two shots are from the next morning, and man, does the paint look good with only one coat on. My brother came over a while back to work on a project and left a few pieces of this 1x3 maple wood. I decided to use it for the feet on the bottom of the pole. I usually work with lower grade wood, and I'm okay with that, but I love the look of this green. Wait till you see it painted. Because I had to adjust my plans on the go, I came up with these. The four feet will go around the base of the pole. I also cut a slight angle just to, you know, make it look a little nicer. Melody loves the camera, and I think she might end up becoming a vlogger, but she loves helping me paint. We took care of the second coat here and finished up stage two of the process. After the paint had dried, I attached the feet to the pole. Keeping it very simple, I only used 18 gauge brad nails. Man, look at that green. I love it, and it even pops through the paint. Here's a basic look at the semi-finished product. There are still a few things to do. I don't think I've shrunk recently, but I believe I'm about six foot one, but this feels slightly taller than me. Since this is a stockings holder, we needed to buy some hooks. I found these simple ones and we usually try to keep it that way when doing projects. And here's the light we'll be putting on top. That is some kind of stand. Not sure what I was thinking there. Anyways, here's a better look. All the pieces twist to lock or unlock in place. It's solar powered, so technically it's made for outdoors, and there's a battery inside that's rechargeable, and it also comes with an Edison bulb. After I was finished playing with the light, I worked on screwing the hooks into the pole. We'll have the pole at an angle, so the stockings will be on the front left and right. 
For some reason I filmed positioning the stockings, but it didn't catch me actually putting the screws into place. So here's a tighter shot, if you were curious. I guess I somehow got this one, but it didn't catch the other. I guess that happens sometimes. Putting the light on the top was super easy. All you have to do is mount this plate on top and put in two screws. Then the light twists to lock in place. Here's a better view. All right, let's check out the final reveal. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I wanted to get it done before the 1st of December. So we had the whole month to put the stockings up and have them out. You could definitely go more intricate with the post or with the lamp. And of course, any other touches that might suit your style. So I hope you guys have a great holiday and a happy new year. And I can't wait to share my next video with you.